Hi friends, welcome to my channel Lizzie Teachers Cooking World. Today I have come with a video of how to fry sole fish. I will be showing you all how to clean the sole fish and what masalas I will be using to fry sole fish. I have taken sole fish. Now you have to clean the you know, sole fish. For that you have to take remove the skin on both the sides. On one side it's quite easy to remove but the other side it's little bit hard. But still if you be little careful you can uh, remove the skin nicely. See I'm removing the skin of it. See, one side is very easy. The other side, it sticks. Uh, it's difficult to pull out. See, I have removed the skin. And even the, the black black things has to be removed uh, near the head. That also has to be removed. For that, you can uh, cut the uh, sole fish into two parts and then cleaning will be easier. The head part and the tail part. See, I have removed the black uh, near the head. Now you have to cut the tail, the tip of the tail. See. Now I have washed the fish nicely. See now it's clean. Now I have taken a little few cloves of uh, garlic, a small piece of ginger, three green chilies, salt, two teaspoons of uh, red chilli powder and one teaspoon of turmeric powder. I'll cut the ginger into small pieces and put it in the mixie and even the uh, chilies and the cloves of garlic. I will even add the uh, red chili powder and the turmeric powder and make it into a fine paste by adding a little vinegar. See, I have taken little vinegar, only little I will add, so that uh, it gets ground properly. Now see, I have made into a fine paste. Now, I will apply the paste on the fish. If uh, there is any water which has settled at the bottom, it has to be removed. And then mix the masala nicely to the fish. Marinate it and keep it for at least half an hour. So that the salt, the uh, garlic, ginger paste, 
then red chili green chili the garlic all will give a special taste to the fish now half an hour is over it's nicely marinated now we will go to the kitchen and fry it i have kept a pan on the gas now i'll put little coconut oil i'll wait for the oil to become little hot and then i will put the fish into the oil it's become hot Now I'll put the fish. When you fry this uh, salt fish in coconut oil, it gives a very good aroma, and it tastes also good. In Kerala, we fry fish in coconut oil. because we are used to the taste of coconut oil we like maybe some people might not like also the taste of uh, coconut oil in kerala we use uh, coconut oil for cooking or vegetables You have to wait until one side is cooked properly. If we are in a haste and we try to remove, then it may break. I should wait for a little more long time, but then okay. Now we are nicely. Right. So I have taken a seal, and I'm putting the fish into that because the oil will drain out. It is good when it is crispy. You get even uh, bigger sole fish. In uh, in the big fish, there will be lots of flesh. So we don't make it very dark. We don't make it crispy because the flesh, the soft flesh, some people like to eat like that also. and the bread now i will take it in a plate i'll keep a tissue paper so that 
the oil is absorbed by the tissue paper. See, doesn't it look yummy? And it tastes also awesome. Now you all saw how easy it was to fry sole fish. Sole fish is a very tasty fish. Do try it at home. And don't forget to write your valuable comments. And if you are watching my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel. And don't forget to press the notification button so that you get the notification of all the videos that I will be uploading. Thanks for watching my video. And goodbye until we meet with some more exciting recipes.